Hey folks, Mr. Hartzler here. This is Activity 3.1.3, and we are using the Ultrasonic Distance Sensor. That's this little fella here. So we are on part six of this activity. And I want to show you how to do the stuff that's listed above here. Wait until an object is detected within 20 centimeters. Then it's going to turn on both motors. I have it just set to 35 because there's no need to go faster. And then we're waiting for the object to move more than 25 centimeters away before turning the motors off. So, I need to have an until the sonar is less than 20. And it is still called sonar. Let's double check that in the motors and sensors setup. I'm under digital 5, sonar, and centimeters. I could choose millimeters, inches, or raw. So, centimeters, hit OK. Should be 20, and sonar. Good. Now, I want to wait until... The sonar is greater than 25, and it's still called the sonar. It's still in sonar. Okay. So until I am less than 20, so once I am actually less than 20, so let's say 16, then I'm going to start both motors, and that's going to happen until I'm greater than 25, so let's say 30. In that case, I will stop both motors. Let's compile the program, download it to the robot, and then let's take a peek at some stuff. The sensor here looks like a little set of speakers, and it kind of is. It puts off a signal, and then it waits to hear those signals back. And you'll see down here, sonar. Right now, it's reading a 39. So what's happening in our program right now? Well, absolutely nothing, because I'm not less than 20. If I'm still greater than 20, nothing's going to happen, because it's not even going to read this first line of code. So now I stick my hand in here way up top and I start moving it down 30 28 23 now I've hit 20 now I've hit 20 what's gonna happen in the program well I'm gonna this first line is true so I'm gonna read my next lines which say to start left motor and right motor at 35 and that's gonna happen until I am 25 centimeters away so I have to move back up now and right now I'm at uh, 27 so at that case I will read my next line which is stop motor. All right, let's start this thing out and let's see. Starting, nothing happened. Well, that should be true. We're going to keep an eye in here, see when this motor starts moving. So I'm going to stick my hand in here. And now it's at 32. Should start any time now. And right here, motor is spinning. And I, I moved out of the way, so then it stopped. If I start it again, I come in and I move, it stops. I start, I'm within, you can see that motor spinning. I'm now larger than 25, so it stops. Hopefully this was helpful, and if it was, please click that like button. Not a terribly complicated code, but as we go, it continues to get harder. Uh, hope you had a great day, and I hope this was helpful. Bye everybody.